generative AI engineer skill set. If you see this, there is two divisions, mandatory skills and the secondary skills, which are preferred skills. So one is like data science AML, means like when you say data science, it's more of predictive analytics. And you need to have the knowledge on generative AI, natural language processing and NLG, natural language generation. And you need to have knowledge on Python SQL. In some roles, even I see Python and TypeScript. So like Python is basically used to develop your uh, backend of it, where in lines of uh, your LLM models and all of this, you develop it with the help of Python. And TypeScript is used to develop your application or the front-end layer of it. And uh, then we got RAG architecture. So like the RAG-related architecture, you have vector store and all of this. And related to your same uh, generative way itself, you can say LangChain, ChatGPT, Prompt Engineer. The reason if you know Python, using LangChain, all of this may not be a big deal. That's the reason. So like generative AI skills, like theory knowledge, RAG architecture, cloud skills, the reason majority of your end-to-end -end pipelines, you do it on cloud, either using AWS, uh, Azure, or GCP. You don't preferably do it on on-prem, or you don't preferably do it without cloud. So cloud is mandatory skills. And then you have a knowledge of deep learning, like convolution neural network R. And if I want to do fine-tuning, pre-training, deep learning knowledge is mandatory. Even if you want to understand Gen AI, deep learning knowledge is mandatory. So if you know deep learning, OCR, computer vision, regression forecasting, if you know ML, so MLOps is very, very important. CACV pipeline, Docker, Kubernetes.